I just wanted to make a video of how to make these for your laser the pin down but hold you know to hold the workpiece down just show you how to actually make them yourself that you can get better ones you can get 3d printed or but these are handy if you ain't got any and you just want to print some out yourself these I'll show you how to make them in probably under two minutes and then you can print out as many as you like I'll just quickly show you how they work so especially on thinner wood and stuff if it's not been stored very well after a minute it's going to be you know quite bowed up and to uh, get a nice like etching or even a cut on the laser you really you want to keep it in focus as much as you can so it needs to be put pretty flat so yeah that's basically all they're used for we just i'm going to just show you how to measure your you know your size of your honeycomb and then just make these they basically they're lower than six millimeters so the laser clears them and they do a good job you can see how much this is up If I can poke this in somewhere. See, it pins it right down. I mean, if you get a few more, and then you can just pin it right down. You know, you've got a nice flat piece of wood. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna. This is what the video is gonna be on today. So before before I go in and make it on the computer, you just want to get your calipers. Make sure they're zeroed make sure they're zeroed out Zero. and then measure one of your honeycombs at this widest point this way yeah it's about 10 millimeters mine is 10.2 so yeah i'm gonna go in and just show you how to make one up quickly in light burn you know that the honeycomb, or at least the mile one, is 10 millimeters wide. So let me just, I'm going to just drag out one square this way and one this way. It like roughly looks like what we want it to. And now up the top here, I'll make sure it's on millimeters. I'm going to change the height of this one. I want it under six millimeters because that's the focus of my laser so I'm just going to take it down to about 5.4 let me drag these in a little bit I went a bit too big there with that uh, and then same with this one I'm just going to make it it's 10.9 at the moment so let's see let's fix that on here okay and really this top bit it's nice to have one longer and one shorter because sometimes you, you can only poke it in certain places so it's handy to have the option so that's what i would normally do um now i'm going to control and click so they're both selected and then click on this middle one that takes everything out of the center because i want to get rid of these up the top here so so that's gone out of there <coughs> and now I'm gonna draw a small line here so I'm gonna hold shift so it draws a straight line get the selection tool select it and now you could just type in here I'm gonna say 10.3 you know that's the widest part that we're going to want it I added a bit extra because you got the laser curve it's going to be cut off and then if you if you zoom it oh actually let's do this as well down the bottom here this radius tool if you click on that oh, click on the corners and just round these corners because sometimes these break this will help strengthen the corners up I'm going to click on these two and all oh, I have to make it a little bit smaller 
you just press Ctrl and Z and it goes back okay see it's still a little bit big but that's fine because they're going to change that now so now I'm going to that node editing tool and it's changed this to nodes and now I can shift and drag this one in I'm going to make it a little bit narrower than that because this has got to poke right through the table click off of it and then click the other side just drag it in a little bit as well we know that line there is 10.3 so that's the widest point of our alright so now I'm going to drag that little line press shift so it stays in line of where it is uh, I'm going to bring it down to about here go back to the node editing tool click on this outside one again press hover over the line it don't matter too much where really just somewhere up close to the top because you're never really going to push this part in because you've always got the material there so I'm just going to hover over here and then press I and that uh, insert a node same on that side and if you don't know the shortcut over your mouse and it'll tell you over this side and then I'm just going to take these two nodes just by clicking on it just drag it in slightly there so it's about on that line and then come down about halfway actually if you look as you go down you can see the little cursor changes that's halfway between the two there, so I'm going to press I. Do the same on the other I. And then if you press S, it'll smooth out the line. So now if I drag it, you can see it goes like a curve. So now you just want to give that a little pull out. Uh, S. I'm just going to pull this out slightly. I'm going to move this line down just to make sure I'm not going too wide. Okay, I'm going to drag that down. You see that's 10.3, that's the widest point, so that's fine. And then now I can delete that line because I'm finished with it, so delete. And then click on this again and go to offsets and now offset it inwards. and just keep turning it down until it should give you like a little this will just help you know spring it in there a bit yep yeah, that's good now so now I'm just going to quickly click this one oh. and go to the node editing tool hold my finger on D and just get rid of some of this from the top here because you don't want it going all the way up there could have probably just drew a square in here but this follows the outside a little bit so that'll be fine if you're not sure of the size under one of the, you can measure it like this you just click on there with that use your pen tool uh, your pencil and then drag it down while you're holding shift it'll draw a straight line and then if you look right at the bottom of the screen underneath where the layer colours are you can see the size down there it's nearly oh, 3.52 millimetres and then if that is too close you go back to your node editing tool and the same thing really you can delete these just by pressing D or holding D and just going over them then when you're happy with where it is you could just press I to insert a node if you zoom in it lets you get a little bit more accurate but oh, I could delete that one actually yeah it's an error it's like that let's just see the width yeah make sure it's not 
and that's the same, 3.52 uh, yeah that should be fine and then now what I would do is like group these together so just up the top where the heads are grouped so now them two pieces are grouped together if you press Control and D you duplicate it so now that I've got two of them uh, now if you flip that upside down slightly move it over to where it fits good yep press Control and D one more time maybe you put one I'll try and save as much space as possible uh, actually let me go back in so what I could do is and what you're best to do really is just print one out and see how it fits I mean it, and then you know just adjust it from there and like I say to adjust it just make sure you've got it singled out and not in a group and then you could just move these sides out a little bit more you click one of them and you move that click off of it and then click the other one move that and then if you want to know the distance you could probably do it with this ruler I'm not sure I always use this pen and then you can just measure click hold shift and then just watch the numbers down the bottom you can see that's 12 mil now so that's going to be a bit too wide for mine but I'm just showing you but yeah that's how you make them and they're handy if you don't have nothing else I'm sure there's better ones 3d printed and stuff but if you've got nothing to you you know if you run out these can just be printed straight on your laser in you know minutes really so hope it can help something out and thanks for watching and please like and subscribe if you like the content and thanks to the new subscribers you've been noticing I'll get a few new subscribers lately so thanks to everyone that subscribed and I'll add some more videos as soon as I can